in today's video but in today's video we cannot delay it much further we need to get started recently 10 minutes before i actually started this recording i actually kicked a lot of people and now let me tell you why i did that so how's it going guys and welcome back for your daily dose of Dexter. In today's video, we gotta do some base work. It's something that I've been delaying for way too long. And even though we are actually getting attempted, I just I just keep delaying it. I don't know why. But in today's video, we cannot delay it much further. We need to get started. And if you remember from last episode, we did do a few readings, but we have so many pillars to do. And we just really need to get it done, to be honest, because as I was saying, we're getting attempted every single day. So we just cannot afford not having the rest of the walls. So if we go to the top right here, we can see that we already finished this region right there. And we also finished the one over there. So I'm thinking, actually, I think we finished all of these, didn't we? No, we finished, we finished one right here. So we can do these pillars. Actually, you know, I think I'm just going to do all the pillars. No, 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 listen to me, listen to me. So we, we can do all the other things another time. We, we can do the pillars right now and get that watered and just leave this all right here. We can do, yeah, yeah, we can do that. We can definitely do that. Uh, yeah, we can definitely do that. Alright, so I think I'm gonna start with these ones in here. Because this right here is a lava curtain. Uh, it's just lava going straight down. So I think I can just finish it off with that. So, without further... I, I need to figure out what I'm gonna do here. I think that we are supposed to have... You know what I'm gonna do? You know what I'm gonna do? This right here is like a one chunk that's not really counted for. I don't know what's gonna be in here. So I think I'm just gonna put normal walls. But, without further ado, guys, we really need to get started on these pillars right here. I see that we are missing one line right here and a little bit right there. So without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and get a time lapse going where we finish off this netherrack right here. And then, uh, yeah, actually, we don't need to. No, we don't. I can do this without it. All right, let's go ahead and... I'm sorry I'm confusing, boys. I'm sorry I'm confused. All right, so let me go ahead and time lapse me building a ton of these pillars right here. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys once the time lapse is done. Alright, a fast update guys, we finished these pillars right here, now we need to water these ASAP so people can't scatter it and stuff like that. I do know we have a lot of walls, but still. But what we need to do first though is this lava curtain right here, and I think I'm gonna place all the lava, and then at the bottom I'm gonna do this slab. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and do a time lapse of that, and I'll see you guys once that is done. <laughs> Alright guys, we're now done with placing all the lava and we need to place slabs all the way down here But we, of course we need all this one to go down first But what we are pretty much doing is a water curtain for our gigi flows Now I'm gonna come more into why we're doing it and stuff like that But for right now, all you need to know is that it's just in a one block right here So we need to place slabs on both sides of it so the lava, here we go So the lava doesn't flow out and interfere with our pillars and stuff like that So without further ado Let's go ahead and take a time lapse of us placing all of these slabs all the way around. Alright guys, we're done with all the lava curtains. We actually did all of them and we have slabs on every single one of them all the way in. Next up is, uh, well, watering all our pillars so people can't just scatter them out and we get a little more defense. So we are going to water all of these all the way in here. And since we are going to have like, what's to call that cap obsidian at the top, what we need to do is actually mine all of these trays right there and then water in between every single one of them. So without further ado guys, let's go ahead and dig straight into it. This is going to take quite a while. So of course we're gonna do a time lapse. So give me two seconds and well, just enjoy the time lapse. As you can probably notice, I changed my texture pack because I got really lucky with all the spawners and this texture pack doesn't lack at spawners at all. But anyways, we mined out all the netherrack and the reason we done it just like this is because we have like a technique. I didn't really come up with this, but somebody came up with this that you can water all the regions very easily. So, if you place one right there, right, it's gonna go like that. And then if we place it over here, it's gonna water it like that. So, we can actually water all our pillars with way less water buckets than we first expected. So, this is what I'm gonna do so without further ado guys enjoy the time lapse Hi 
guys, we watered everything right here, as you can see. And now we need to mine in between every single netherrack just like that and that should water everything just as you see over here now this is a pretty easy way to actually water your pillars so let's go ahead and get going with that and uh, let's just hope that these pillars here is finally done soon because we have been spending about one and a half hour doing this but without further ado guys let's go ahead and mine all the nether we couldn't be friends anymore Alright guys, just a fast update right here, I just bought a what to call a trade pickaxe from our Minecraft from last week where we didn't get F top 1, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this so it does this because this is absolutely, like it's gonna take ages, so this right here is going to make our lives so much easier if you look at how we can do it right here. And it's only Minecraft, and since we like have no idea what we're gonna spend our Minecraft on, so why not just go ahead and do this tool right here, it makes everything a lot easier. And uh, yeah, so without further ado guys, let's go ahead and take a time lapse of doing this instead, since clearly this goes well a lot faster. <laughs> finally done watering every single pillar and it actually took quite a while then we're done with the water curtains which oh god lag which slaps all the way down a bit we do have a lot of other pillars and of course these regions to do but we're doing pretty well what we're working on right now is watering this region properly but after that boys we probably have a lot more defense look at that so i'm, I'm pretty happy about the result but uh, i mean <laughs> there's so much more to do boys there's so much more to do with so little time because when the dark this takes over and it's getting late people start to building cannons on us so we kind of need to focus on that instead of the uh, base work but so far so good boys not sure if we're gonna do the other pillars but i'm gonna end the clip right here and i assume if we're not doing that we're gonna do something else but yeah anyways guys i'm gonna end it right here and i'll see you guys in a second more like a couple of hours for me but you know what i mean all right guys we are finally done watering all the pillars and all the walls and we are now watering in this region right here because apparently that was watered wrong but so far guys we've been doing quite a lot of work keep in mind that each pillar is gonna take about five seconds to go through so i mean we did a pretty good job right here i know you can buy but like half of them but still we did a pretty good job the water curtains is done right now we do need to do the ingredient fillers in between them now we have some filters right here we do need to do quite a lot of pillars right here just not really sure if we should do them now or we need to do this first. I don't know. I don't have to ask. But other than that, pretty good job, guys. Pretty good job. And I'm, well, I'm happy about the result. All right, guys. It's been quite a few hours right now. And I just want to give you guys an update of what happened since I was gone. I actually just locked on after a nap. So let's go and see right here. So we have done quite a lot of design right here. We need to get rid of that again as soon as the regions is up. But we're doing a pretty good job right there. And I think somebody did a few pillars somewhere. And I think that's pretty much it. So recently, 10 minutes before I actually started this recording i actually kicked a lot of people and now let me tell you why i did that so this right here is the first ingredients that we made and i put up a lot of signs down there and i assigned every single person two regions that they have to complete in two days now if you can complete a two simple region lines right here in two days you're not active all right because it takes about a minute to do one so i kicked a lot of people as you can see right here swill increasable fraser I killed what is he that baseball? I, I sent him to other baseball because he's not okay. Trust me, he's, he's, he did other things, right? He did he did other things. Alright, great. Well we kicked a lot of pieces in the first in pen, we kicked skeptic, we kicked already slave, we kicked penetrator, we kicked balance, we kicked we kicked so many people. And that of course means that we are now recruiting again. But one thing you gotta know before you actually send an application into our faction is that you have to actually be active. Now of course I'm not saying that you have to play 12 hours a day. But assign the base work you have to do. And I'm not being unreasonable whatsoever. Two of these right here in two days is close to nothing. But I think that's pretty much it. We kicked a lot of people. We are now accepting applications again. 
we are looking for AU people or US people if possible. The EU is more than fine because, well, well, well I'm EU, so that kind of makes sense. But anyways, guys, we've done so much work today and I cannot thank my faction enough. This is absolutely amazing to see all the support and all the teamwork that you guys have been putting into it. And, uh, well, we are one step closer to filling our base. Now, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you guys, this is pro probably not the most... I, I would say perfect base, but it's something, right? It's our baby, and we like it. We love the base. Nothing is perfect. And with that said, guys, I think it is time to end off this episode. Now, I, this entire episode has been base grinding. Did you guys like all the base grinding I did? Or would you like to see more episodes where it's just pure base grinding, where we do nothing else than building a base? Let me know down in the comments if you guys would like to see that. As always, make sure you like this video here and subscribe to my channel. Almost at 14,000 subs. That is absolutely amazing. And I thank you so much for all the support. Make sure you join my Discord giveaway where I give away PayPal, Discord Nitro, I give away pretty much anything I get my hands on. But other than that, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Your daily dose of Dexter. My name is Dexter, and uh, I'm out.